update um, also because as you're aware, if you've been following, everybody's sick with COVID. It sucks. Um, my dad had it like almost two weeks ago, so he's back to work. Um, my older brother, he's had it for about the same time as my mom, so she's like a day ahead of him. So about a week. And I've had it for five days now and testing positive still. So, um, honestly I tested negative before I got sick and then I got sick and I'm like, well, I probably have the same thing everybody else does. So I didn't worry about it, but just, you know, for kicks and grins, I decided, okay, you know, mom was doing her test and she says, well, you want to take one too? Cause I was starting to feel better just to see if we were still contagious. And obviously we are. So unfortunately, um, but thank you for all your questions and concerns. Everybody's fine. Nothing, nothing bad's happening. Gamma's fine. She, uh, she's actually probably the one that's been sick the least out of everybody, which is amazing. Um, and then my brother, I think he's getting ready to go back to work, but I'm not sure. Cause he still seems like he's pretty far into the weather. He's about at the same level as me, I think, <clears throat> where it's like the heavy muscle fatigue, the overall body fatigue, and then getting really tired really quickly because we've been so fatigued um, and not moving around very much the last week. So it's very, very easy to get too tired. A good example is yesterday I gave my dog a bath and then I took a shower after I was done with her, had lunch, and then I couldn't keep my eyes open anymore. I had to go and take a nap because I apparently overexerted myself at that point. Um, today did almost the same thing. All I was doing was putting my recycles into the bed of my pickup and by the time I was done with it, I was so far out of breath, it was ridiculous. And I had to go and lay down and take a break for a while. <laughs> so it does definitely take it out of you. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but as far as the symptoms go, um, it's not nearly as severe as all of us were dreading. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. Um, stay tuned, get your notifications because the next big steps are going to start happening. Since my mom's healing is going really well. I'm hoping the next three to four weeks, I'll be able to go ahead and get back on a truck. Now, what's up with that, you ask? So I was going to go back into truck driving with the first company that I worked for, but they have since decided that I am not worth taking on because they can get newbie drivers cheaper. So fine. Okay. There's plenty of other companies out there that pay more anyway. The reason I wanted to go with them is because they were so close to my house and I already had a reputation with them, but they'd much rather have fresh kids coming out of trucking school that they can just pay as little as possible to and rotate them out, you know, fine. The turnover is really high at that company for a reason, but, um, the two other companies that I really wanted to look into, I'm not going to give the names out right now, but one of them has like this, this like $15,000 sign on bonus that they kind of wave at you. But since talking to them yesterday and submitting my information, they don't seem like they're in too much of a hurry to talk to me. And it sounded really good on paper, but I'm starting to see that they are another one of those companies that you're just another number. You're just somebody else that's going to have that impact on their turnover rate. So I may not talk to them anymore. I don't know yet. Hopefully they'll call me back in the next couple of days, but we'll see. The second company that I've been talking to, um, is actually a much smaller company, which is really nice because they really take care of their people a lot better that way. And I would really look forward to it because I could take care of with me. And the other part of it is that they actually have a better pay scale than working with the, the first company I worked for. So one way or another, um, it's definitely going to pay better and that's what I'm after. So one way or another, um, truck driving is definitely in the future, um, as far as the near future so that I can start getting everything financially back on track to start putting away first, because my mom's going to have to have that second hip done, which means I'm going to have to come home and help care around the farm again, at least until she heals up, but it won't be as long as it has been this time. Um, this time it was because her mobility went south so bad that she had to have a lot of assistance before the surgery. So hopefully with the second hip not being nearly as deteriorated before she gets it done, um, she'll actually be a lot more mobile and all the way up to the date of her surgery. So I won't have to be, um, hung up for too long either. Um, 
which is fine. I mean, I, I already knew that this was going to end up impacting. So the best thing I can do is put in as much time as I can with the new company and let them know ahead of time. Hey, you know, she's still got to get that second hip done. She's going to try and give me some time in between because it depends on when they can get her in to do the surgery. It took them months and months and months to get the first one done. So I'm not expecting it to really happen within the next six weeks, you know, <laughs> excuse me. So make sure you guys are getting your notifications. Please ring that bell and also subscribe to the channel, guys. This is still going to be tiny home based. Now, the reason that we talk about all of this for the truck driving is because that is the means. That is how the purchase of the tiny home property that's a unrestricted property is going to be attained. Uh, we have our family friend who is a realtor who has offered his services. He's really just waiting for me to have enough down to, to start looking for me. So as soon as that happens, it's it's happening fast. Because as soon as I can start plugging away, um, every time it, it accumulates a certain amount, that's going to be my goal point, And then it'll get shifted over into the next savings. Okay, time. guys. So you know what's funny about the last video I posted, just to give you all an update. Um, I actually just tested that afternoon. And I finally came up negative, which is awesome. And then the other good part of it is uh, I finally got word back from the two um, trucking companies I've been trying to get hired on with. And the one I actually really wanted um, actually really does want me to come on board. So I'm getting pretty excited. I can finally go back to work. So once I get back on the road, it'll take me a little bit to get adjusted, at least for their routing and the way they want things to be put into the system, my paperwork and all that. Um, once I start getting rolling, I'm going to be a little more consistent with my posting. It is going to be a lot of over the road videos again, which will be a lot of fun because I've been dying to get back on the road. Um, in the meantime though, it's like, I'm kind of in this euphoric stage because I still feel a little bit phlegmy. Uh, I've been battling with headaches a little bit. So as far as being COVID negative, I, that's great, but I still have the residuals just like you would with any flu bug or cold. You've always got that lingering cough or the lingering runny nose. So at least now that I know that I have a place that's going to take me on for hiring, a lot of that anxiety is like butterflies in my stomach because I'm always anxious and nervous that whenever I start a new job. I think most people are that way. But um, I'm excited because I can finally go back to work and go back to doing the things that I really like doing. And that also means that the First initial checks are definitely going to go right back into the savings account because my expenses here being with my family and having the tough shed bedroom, um, my expenses are extremely low. So it makes things a lot easier because I will be on the road and then yes, I will rotate home at least once a week, but I won't have to rely on having to pay rent and all of that other stuff. I just help my dad out with the electricity anytime I'm here. I help with grocery shopping. I help with anything that needs, needs help with chores and such on the farm. So that gives me that avenue to still be helpful to my family and my mom because she's not going to be able to take on full chore duty again for a while. So at least once a week, I'll be able to pop in and help her out, you know, do the big mowing because that's a three and a half hour job just to do the mowing on the property. That doesn't even include the edging and the weed eating and, you know, getting all the plants and everything set up for the summertime. So, um, the other big part of that is, uh, they put their garden in every year and we haven't been able to get it tilled yet just because it's been so wet. So definitely going to have a lot more things to do now that everybody's starting to feel better. And I will be back onto my regular earning paths to start looking into um, possible properties right away because I want to know exactly how much money I need to be able to set aside for that. So it's all exciting. I'm super pumped. Um, I was really happy after, of course, right after I posted that minor update, everything shifted almost all at once. So I'm really happy to report back on that one. So stay tuned, guys. It's going to be a little bit offset still just because now I'll be starting work and I've got to get settled in at the new job and get my truck and everything else assigned. So stay tuned. Make sure you're getting your notifications and your subscriptions, guys.